Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about power solutions for all of your electronics. And if you happen to pick up the iPhone 17 Pro Max or any iPhone 17, this is gonna be the perfect companion solution. Matter of fact, this will work with any iPhone, any Samsung phone, any Google phone. And let's face it, those devices don't come with chargers anymore. Today, we're taking a look at two products that we've reviewed on the channel, but this is the 2025 version. These are the Anchor Prime series of chargers. And I have to tell you, these are the fastest, incredibly fast charging solutions. First of all, this is gonna give you a total output of 160 watts, and this is compact. It is small. This one over here, total dual charging input, because it charges really fast, of up to 250 watts. That means that you can charge this in minutes, like 10 to 15 minutes, you're gonna be able to top this off really quick. And then from an output perspective, you're talking about 300 watts. All of this in, in a compact package. And I would say if you're gonna be considering this or you need something, I'd say these go hand in hand. So let me show you why I'm so excited about this product, what you can do with these, because these can top off your products, laptops, tablets, cell phones, earbuds, everything fast. Now, when I first got this product, I was thoroughly impressed when I powered them up to see how fast they charged. And I just couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the charging rate and the charging output that you can get from these. And this is a really, really small charger. And as you can see here, we're talking about 160 watt total output. It has uh, multiple USB-C outputs. It has three of them that you can charge from. And it's gonna intelligently distribute the charging power based on the demand of the product that you're using. It's gonna charge fast. So that's one of the things, and it's very convenient. This is gonna be a great travel charger. This can fit in your purse, this can fit in your uh, backpack, wherever it's gonna be, because even the little legs that you see right here, they fold. Has a on for, uh, forward display, and it also is app enabled. So you're gonna be able to update the firmware, and you're gonna be able to do things with this. So this is pretty, pretty awesome. Actual power brick solution. Uh, so the battery backup solution here is fast. It's ultra fast. And one of the things that really surprised me is this right here. 250 watt dual port input. I actually plugged in two chargers into this and it was charging within minutes. This battery, which is a massive battery, right? 26,000 uh, you know, milliamp hours of battery power was able to charge in under 15 minutes. And that is something incredible. But then also it was the charging out. It can provide 140 watt max fast charging. That means your laptop, if you have a Samsung phone, a Samsung tablet, laptop, if you have a Apple, uh, let's say a MacBook Pro, these things are gonna charge at the fastest possible speed because you have up to 140 watts total output. Now, the and, and this is fast charging. Now, keep in mind that the charging rate is gonna be determined by the device. So the more the device hot pulls, the more it's gonna be able to supply, but you see what the top end of this is. So a lot of stuff to be really excited about. So let's take a closer look at the actual uh, products so you can see how compact they are and then we'll put them to the test. Now, the first thing we'll take a look at is this charger right here. It has some fingerprints on it, but it does have a display. You'll notice here that you have three USB-C outputs and then you have your uh, charging uh, extra prongs right here, which I like because they fold really easily and they disappear really nicely. Uh, these, all of these are app enabled, right? So you're gonna be able to see it with your phone and we're gonna see what the app tells you and how it works. Now the other part, and this is, I call them like a pair because I think that they're really important to be together. Now what we have here is the battery backup solution. And on the top, you actually have two USB-Cs and one USB-A. Almost looks like if it was a plug, right? The way these are put together or even two eyes and mouth. It all depends on what you see. So we won't go into that. But you see what's going on here. This is a really nice compact charger. It has a smart display as well. As soon as you turn it on, it's gonna tell you how much power is there. And throughout this entire process, you're gonna see how much communication comes from these devices as you're plugged in. And I'll tell you, the fast charging here is pretty incredible. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this guy right here. We're going to see how he charges and what it communicates. And then we'll go into the battery solution as well. Now, the first thing I want to show you is what happens when you connect, uh, again, the, the charger that you see here. And we're going to go ahead and put this on screen so you can see what's going on here. Uh, there's a really nice informational display. We're going to go ahead and push that in. And you notice it starts up and it's directional, right? So it knows what position things are. So if you put it this way, it's going to rotate. We'll see, see how it rotates. And when you come back, it rotates again. Now, the cool thing about this is that you'll notice that this basically has 
uh, Bluetooth. So it has a Bluetooth connection, and it actually has an app that it works with as well. Now, I have three cables in here. I have one that came from Anchor, and Anchor's cable is proprietary. Anchor's cable is going to give you the ability to charge, like, incredibly fast. I also then have a 240-watt certified cable here, but it doesn't have that special Anchor tech. And then I have one over here, which is another high-speed cable, and just wanted to highlight that you're going to see a special message that comes up when you plug this cable into things that you won't see with the other ones because it's proprietary to, um, again, Anchor and how it charges. Now, one of the things I'm going to do first is I'm going to connect it to this MacBook Pro, and we're going to see how much power is drawn from this MacBook Pro as soon as I connect it. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this around and plug it in right here. And we're going to see what happens as soon as I plug that in. All right. Now, this MacBook Pro may be charged empty. Now, you notice how it says EPR. You notice how that said EPR? That EPR message is the ca this cable. And look at how much power is being supplied. I'm going to unplug this again. So it's at zero. Watch this again. Plug it in. And it's going to say it's going to give you that EPR cable, which is the Samsung, the, again, the anchor cable. And we're going to see how fast or how much power it's supplying. So right now, 78. 81, 83, 84. Look how many watts are just going into this Mac to power it up. And we're going to leave it there. So right now it's hovering between 82 and 83 watts. I'm going to grab another cable now and grab another high speed cable that we have here. And I'm going to plug this into my phone here, right? And we're going to see how much power it's going to draw from that. I'm going to go ahead and put my Samsung Galaxy Fold. All right, we'll put this to the side. We'll plug this in. I'm going to put it right here so you can see what happens when I do that. Now, this guy's plugged in. I can see it's fast charging, right? Coming back, it recognizes that it has that cable in. Now, notice how it's bumping up. It's going up 96, around 96 watts. Now, keep in mind that this charging rate is fully dependent on my phone. And let's bring the phone back into view here so you can see what happens. I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to put this to the side, and I'm going to plug it again. So what you want to see with Samsung phones is you want to see that ultra-fast charging. So you want to see that little blue, um, the teal line come up. So we'll see that right here. See? So this is super-fast charging. So this is giving you super-fast charging. The charger, the cable is capable of going up to 250 watts or 40 watts. But the, the actual phone itself is not demanding it. It's not going to request that much. So you can see that it's pulling 96. That's really good. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to push this to its limit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab another cable. And we're going to try to charge the actual uh, battery backup itself. We're going to give it some power. And we're going to see how much this guy is going to draw. Because I think that doing it this way, this, is going to, this guy is going to ask for more power, and you're going to see us push it to the limit. So we're going to go ahead and push that in. I'm going to see what happens here. It's going to renegotiate power again. That's why you see it, it basically talk about the cable again. And now look at 115. Make sure the switches. 117 watts. That's pretty impressive for something this, this small. And I've seen it go up to 140 watts. It's, it's gone. Um, as high as the devices that I have are demanding. And again, great, great uh, charging rates as it's doing this. Now, let's take a look at the actual battery for a second, and then we're going to look at the app for both of these, how it works together. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug right these guys right here. And you know, matter of fact, all right, so what we're going to do is before we start looking at the battery, I wanted to take a look at the app. So I started up the app here, and you can see that we're charging at 117 watts, 104, uh, what is it, 12. It's fluctuating based on the demand coming from the devices that are connected to it. And as you can see, the app is telling us uh, that as well. And the cool thing about the app is that the app is giving us the full information around the distribution of power. And the, the actual charge itself will do the same thing. There is an actual area here that you can tap. And it's going to go ahead and cycle through. So notice how it's giving us the breakdown there. That same breakdown is visible in the app as well. So you can see each one of the charging points. You can see what the output is. You could actually configure things too. So notice the cable that's connected to one of them is that EPR cable. And notice how it says it's Apple PD fast charging. So it's giving you some really good information. Over here, isn't this cool? It's basically saying that I have 
a super fast charging event taking place with my Samsung, and notice it says it's a Samsung. And then over here, it basically says that I have connected another cable, which is a three amp cable. And that three amp cable is basically, again, supplying power. So it's giving me information on each one of these uh, different connections. Now, there is also the notice that the charging mode, you have AI, right? And you also have, uh, you have the ability to change your charging mode. So I can go in here and I could do standard mode, I could do custom mode, or I can leave it with AI mode. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it with the AI mode. But this is where you would go to set up the actual, uh, actual charger if you wanted to make any changes to it. And then this is also where you would go to, uh, what is it, update the firmware if you had any kind of firmware changes, which I did. Now in the settings area, and you're gonna find this pretty consistent throughout the app, is that you have the ability to set up your charging mode, your screen brightness, the screen timeout. You also then have uh, screen rotation, uh, device language. You also then have here a, a device name if you wanna change the name. I'll probably change it a little bit later. Right now I'm leaving it as a standard brand. Serial number, and then all this other good stuff here with the firmware update. All right, now the next product we're gonna take a look at is the charger. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in some of these same cables to the charger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the actual high-speed cable that we have from Anchor. And we're also then gonna connect some of the other ones. I actually marked my cable because I wanna make sure I don't uh, misplace this one because I wanna keep this with my stash. And as soon as you plug it in, you notice that it, it'll give you that same message that it has that special cable. See right there? And then it's gonna start supplying power. And you'll notice how much it's, it's supplying. So it started out with that 80 watts, right? So you can see it says 80 watts, it's moving up. And then it's telling me how much power I have left. Matter of fact, if we were to switch over to the app, let me go ahead and switch over to the app. We'll bring that into view. What you'll find is that it will do this exact same thing. So here we can see the actual app. You could see the port. You can see how much power is going through that specific port. And you can see, again, historical information or graphs about those ports, input, output, how much time. So there's a lot of good uh, information here. I wouldn't use all these things, but it's good to know that it's actually there. And then when you click on the actual cables themselves, uh, you know, the C1 or the C2, you're able to see, you know, that there is a cable connected to it. You can see the cable type is that EPR240 watts and that it's doing uh, PD charging. Now, I'm going to go ahead and connect. Uh, this other cable, which is another uh, 240 watt fast charger. Connect that to it. And then we'll see what it will say. So now my phone is charging. So you're gonna see that message pop up, right? So we have two devices now connecting. And if I were to look at the actual app, we'll switch back to the app. You're gonna notice that the app is now showing that that's charging. And if I click on C1, it says also that it has a uh, 240 watt cable. And the protocol in that case is PPS, right? So you see one is PD, one is PPS. And if I had a third one in A, I see that as well. Now, the cool thing is, notice 102 watts are being supplied. If I had more hungry devices, it would take care of that. But I just wanted to show you kind of like the flexibility, the charging rate, and how fast it's, it's just charging all these devices. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how fast we can charge it. Now to see how much power we can supply, I'm gonna use this 140 watt anchor charger. And we're gonna first start with one cable and then we're gonna add another cable to see how much we can charge. All right, so now for this part of the test, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug into one of the USB C ports, a charging cable, and we're gonna see how much we can get to charge. So notice it says that it's charging and it's taking 36 watts and it should start climbing. Notice that it's an hour and a little bit more. It's almost two hours to fully charge. 40 watts, all right, and it's gonna to continue to grow. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to basically take this cable here, which I have connected to another charger, and I'm gonna connect it to the charger as well. And now we're gonna see how much charging power this is gonna take. And now it says that it's dual charging. Check it out. Now the dual charging, 150 watt max, and let's see uh, what the app is saying. So on the app, as I'm looking at it, it says that we're getting 150 watts in. And notice the difference in the amount of time. That is incredible. Look at that. It's gone down to 44 minutes. And notice how it's just jumping up. 
it's almost a second. Look at that, 44, 49, and it's just going to keep on going. And you'll see how quickly we're going to go from 34% to 35%. Now, keep in mind, I haven't topped this off yet. I can add, if I had more powerful chargers, I can make this go even faster because I want to see us push this to the 200 and above charging. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. And we're going to watch and see what happens. Dual, part, dual port charging is kicked off. And now let's watch it grow. So we're still looking at the app. And the app is now at 199, 204, yes. 222, woohoo, I think we're going to do it. I think it's going to make it 243, 250. There you go, 250. Now check this out. 34 minutes to get us to a full charge. And look how fast this guy is charging now. This is what I'm talking about. This blew me away. Now, if you can imagine how fast you can top off this battery, especially if you're going, um, let's say, to an amusement park and you forgot to charge it. You're brushing your teeth, you're having breakfast, and you can have this thing fully charged as long as you have the right charging solutions to push this to the limit. 250 watts, and this guy is charging. It is charging really fast, and it's just going to take, again, a few more minutes, 34 minutes to fully charge. This is what I'm talking about. So, guys, that wraps up our review of these fantastic chargers. If you're looking for the fastest possible charging, if you're looking to be able to charge multiple devices at the same time, you can't go wrong with either one of these Anchor products. But I have to tell you, you have to get them both. You have to get them both because that's how you're going to get the max benefit. See you in the next video.